Hello folks, welcome back to my channel. What I have here today is the EcoFlow app. As I'd like to go through the schedule task setting uh, to do a step-by-step -step guide. So what you can see here is you have, I have my um, EcoFlow um, Smart Home Panel 2 and I have the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra inverter and one battery and I also have the Delta 2 but we're going to focus on the um, home panel so let's go there as you can see here right now that uh, the uh, electricity that's coming in are coming from the grid uh, battery is at 96 percent and uh, we have the settings the home, the grid, the circuits, um, and the circuits are over here. You can see I have the AC, air handler, and more, right? You can turn them off if you want to. Like if I can go over here, I can just turn it off, and it's turned off. If I want to turn it back on, just hit that one, and it's back on. All right, so what that means is if, like myself, I only have one one battery for now. So when I use the EcoFlow um, uh, Delta Pro Ultra battery, I sometimes just turn off the um, AC and the air handler. Uh, but I plan to add more batteries and probably another inverter. So let's go to... Um, Go to settings. Uh, it's, this part is covering it. Okay, there you go. Go to settings. As you can see here, you I have storm guard on. What that means is there's a storm coming. If severe weather is expected in your area, within 12 hours, the system will automatically charge your batteries to full capacity. So via AC. Or if you have solar. I don't have solar yet. Oh, um, next one is um, my, I am on EPS mode. So what that means is uh, the emergency power EPS mode allows the system to switch the power source to battery storage in 20 milliseconds. And I tested this already and, um, you know, let's just turning off the grid and it's really fast. You won't even, um, uh, maybe, you know, just a, a, a slight uh, flicker of the light, but it's, it's awesome. All right, click OK. My charge limit right now is up to 97%. They recommended 90, but I put it at 97. And then generate, generator settings. I, I plan to um, install a generator. I just bought a champion one. I'm going to create a video, video about that also. But for now, since my champion is single face, I set this as single face. So if you have a generator that's a split phase, 240 volts, then you set this to 240. I'll make another video about that. Uh, firmware, just make sure you have the latest and greatest uh, firmware that the EcoFlow has. Now we are going to operating mode. Now on operating mode, you have self-powered ideal for households with stable rate plan who want to use only solar ener energy uh, to charge the battery when it's above the backup reserve level. That's not me right now. So for scheduled task, uh, and the next one is TOU mode. We'll create an, I'll, I'll uh, do another video about that. But on scheduled task, you just go over here and you can set it, right? You can set it from, like for example, my peak hours is, from four to seven. So every day uh, it discharges from four to seven. And then automatically at nine o'clock to 3 a.m. it charges via AC at, um, at, uh, at from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Um, you can change this by, you know, just adjusting the time from there. They use military time, so 
you can do it from there and then you have to click save you can even disable the um, charging or you can disable the uh, discharging uh, just an FYI the scheduled task uh, if you turn this on EPS mode which is the the um, the setting that automatically switches if the grid goes down that turns off automatically so if I click that one conflicting settings turning on savings mode will turn off EPS mode you click confirm then right now you are on uh, schedule task so let's say I want to change this to what time is it right now 8 30 a.m. so let's do from let's say 8 8 to 8 30 it's already 8 31 I want to save this Okay. Let's go back there. It doesn't let me let me try it again. Eight thirty. Okay. There you go. Eight thirty. Now eight thirty. Now if I go back now. And then let's wait. You'll see that um, it will switch now from um, the grid will turn off and the battery will it will start pulling from the battery as you can see here right now. So now if I go back to the battery, you'll see here the device is connected to another device because the battery is connected to the smart home panel too. So. Uh, AC outputs ports are now disabled so the AC on the uh, ultra is not working right now so right now I have 7 hours and 19 minutes it's uh, outputting 648 watts um, go back there but the problem with this one is if I go back to circuits if this kicks in both of this the AC and the air handler then this piece the battery well, this will drastically go down to maybe an hour or 45 minutes so what i do is i go back here go to circuits and i just turn off the ac and i turn off the ac handler as you can see both of them are, both of them are off so i hope this helps um when you set up uh, your schedule task with the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra with a smart home panel too. I'll see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.